What's up guys, it's Mega giving you another deck for Link Evolution. We're going to do a remake of one of my old decks and that is DDD deck. Um, because obviously new format guys, Master Rule 5, DDDs are back to their full power so that means um, you don't need to have a Link Monster in order to do your combos, you can just go straight away from it. There is um, there is obviously many builds you can do, you can put you can Splash Artifacts in this, you can do Splash Sacred Beasts in this deck, you can um, just do a pure one if you want. You could do like a Union Carrier one, uh, one. There is literally many ways you can do this deck. It's absolutely amazing. Like, which, how you can splash it. And this deck that I've made, of course, my opinion of the day, and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with any of the cards that are shown in this video. Um, please be in note that Allure of Darkness is the only card that's, card that's on the limited list because obviously it's limited to two, so you can't run free, so that's unfortunate. Um, if you're struggling to make this deck or any deck shown so far, I highly recommend you check out the card hub. Not only does it tell you if a card is in this game or not, it tell you where to find it, such as campaign, challenge mode, card packs, and that does include the new cards that were added via the update, which got released a couple of days ago. That will be in the description down below, along with my Twitch, that I do try and stream as best I can on as many um, day, days I can, but obviously with work and stuff that kind of like it is um, limited. Where we we'll just chill, play Yu-Gi-Oh, um, have um, have fun making decks, and we also will get get to talk about um, about all sorts. That'll be in the description as I said down below. Um, um, below. And with that, guys, let's get into the video. Starting us off, guys, is the Apprentice Illusion Magician. Now, you might be thinking, what? Apprentice Illusion Magician in a DD deck? Well, guys, I got the idea from another YouTuber. His name is um, Tenma. His um, YouTube will be in the description down below. I did a lot of research. I went through most probably about 10 decks, seeing how people like, what builds people like to do, what cards they like to chuck in. And I saw the. Um, Apprentice Magician, the Apprentice Illusion Magician, Magician Soul Combo, and I actually did enjoy that because it gives you more use out of your dark contracts, allowing you to draw more cards, and you can, um, like, like for instance, if you play Dark Contract the Hell's Gate, you get such a card that's pretty much dead unless you're going to bounce back it, or unless you're going to destroy it with Lamia, so I decided, you know what, Magician Souls gives you a free summon to go into more plays, and then also you get rid of that cards, um, like your dead spell or traps, that allow you to draw more cards, and it was just fun, it was actually, I, I just enjoyed it more. So Prince Illusion Magician, you can special on this card by um, discarding one card from your hand and that's pretty much all you're going to be doing because you can't play any of its other effects. So this card is pretty much a garnet. You do not want to see this card in your hand, no matter what. But if you do happen to see her, she's perfect target with a lower darkness bait. Also, like I say, she does have an effect where you can special summon her so you can send such as like Lamia or stuff to the grave to set them up. And then two copies of Ash Blossom Joy Springs, fantastic hand trap guys, you can add one card, for, uh, sorry, sorry, um, should your opponent activate a card, card effect such as add a card from the deck to the hand, special summon from the deck, or send a card from the de deck to the grave, Ash Blossom just shuts them down, fantastic hand trap, on top of all of our um, negate, um, it's just an extra layer of just, um, of just a bad, um, badassness. And then going on to the DDDs themselves, we're running two copies of DDD Ghost. Um, this card is mandatory, um, um, true really for the combo. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one DD monster or dark contract card in your graveyard, and you get sent another copy of that card basically. So DD just set, so Ghost just sets up your graveyard fantastically, and and also if this card is banished, which you will be doing with Chaos, uh, with Chaos King. King Apocalypse, you can basically return a DD monster from your grave, so from your banished zone back to your field, which is great when you activate cards like Necro Slime, which will banish your high powered cards. And then going on to the main one, DD Lamia, fantastic as well, guys. Um, both Hair and Ghost are searchable with um, Needle Fiber, um, and um, Lamia is one of the cards you want to see turn one. The three main cards you want to see is Lamia, Necro Slime, and Swirl Slime. So what um, Lamia does is, um, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send another DD or Dark Contract from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard, except Lamia, special from this card. Her effect does not work on Pendulum Monsters, because if they don't go to the graveyard, they go to the fate. They go to the um, extra mon so they go to the extra deck should they be on the field. So please bear that in mind with Lamia. Now then going on to two copies of Necro Slime. I'm running two guys in this build, but you can obviously run three. It's one of the ones you want to see in the turn one. Um, if this card is in the graveyard, you can fuse from the DD monster from your graveyard, um, so sorry, from your extra deck, banish your monsters in, in, in your grave. And because it's level one, her and Lam uh, sorry, this card and Lamia are searchable with We're Off Thou. 
and then three copies of Swirl Slime. Now, Swirl Slime, guys, is is like I say one of the other cards you want to see turn one. Um, if this card is in your hand, um, so if this card is in your hand, you can fusion summon a DD monster using using DD cards in your hand. As fusion material. Also, you can banish this card from your graveyard, and you can special another DD from your hand. You can use both effects per turn, which is obviously mandatory to go into the combo. Which is pretty much if you have Lamia, um, Swirl Slime, and Necro Slime, you can pretty much have a fantastic board. Should you get the combo right, unlike myself, where I did have them and I kind of messed it up, so that's unfortunate. And then three copies of Magician Souls. Now you might be thinking, why am I running this? What is the point of running Magician Souls? Well, like I said, guys, like with a print to lose Magician, you can send it to the graveyard, special summon this, it kind of mills like your deck by one. And then, then uh, like I say, she's a free summon. Uh, this doesn't use up your normal summon, this is a free summon. You get, um, then obviously, um, you can still do all your plays and all that lot, but say for instance you've got two hell gates in your hand, um, hand turn one with like evenly matched. You can just send an evenly matched and a hell's gate to the grave, draw two cards. That way you still got a hell's gate or a search card, and then say for instance you're missing your combo pieces, you've only got Lamia in hand. You send hell's gate, you send evenly matched. You just drew that slime, that swirl slime. It's like oh my god, got one of the cards. And now because you've got a level one in play, where if that is live, search out necro slime. Should you have that? Or you can just play Hell's Gate, the other copy of Hell's Gate, whatever, and then you can search out the other combo piece. As long as you can get access to Swirl Slime, Lamia, and Necro Slime to enough straight away, you can do your fantastic combo pieces. And Magician Souls, in my opinion, just kind of helps that, um, 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 that with the searching. And then onto the Pendulum ones, we are running one DD Orphrus. Um, pretty much, guys, you're not going to really summon him. He is a tuner. You're not really going to play him for anything like that. Um, he does have a Pendulum ability where you can target one spell or trap on the field and one other DD Dark Contract card you control, destroy them both. So really, you're going to destroy one of your Dark Contracts so you don't take the burn damage and pop one of your opponent's back row. That's pretty much why you're going to run run this guy. Um, two copies of Savant Cuff. Um, Cuffins, um, I cannot pronounce this guy's name, I, I, I did try. This card, um, if you normal special summon this guy, you can send one DD or Dark Contract from your deck to the grave, which is great, especially if you, say you, for instance, um, you've got the, um, say for instance, like um, you can bring out this guy, you can just send Lamia, you can just send Necro Slime, the effects are sorted, you can send the Swirl Slime so you can special summon a card. And you're not really going to play it to Pendulum Ability or that great. It's just great for summoning so you can just um, send your cards to the grave. Then Free Savant Kepler. This is the other one you want to see turn one. So, so for instance, if you have one of the other two cards, say you have Lamia and um, Slime, um, Necro Slime and um, Kepler in hand, you can play Kepler as a, you can just normal summon Kepler, play its effect to search the Hell's Gate, then you can still go into your combo because obviously Hell's Gate will search out the, the Swirl Slime, so you still have your free cards. As long as you can get access to them, it's great, and Kepler just helps that so much. And also, it's a level 1, so if you do, so say for instance your hand is just Kepler and I don't know, Swirl Slime, that's it, that's all you've got in your hand, plus we're Art Foul. You can still get your combo because you just play Kepler, search out the Hell's Gate, search the, um, search the Necro Slime. Then you just play Wear of Thou, just search out the Lamia. You can still do. You see what I mean? As long as you can get access to those three, you can, you can, and that's what this, and that's what this deck does. And then one copy of Savant Thomas. Thomas is great. You're not really going to play its Pendulum ability all too well, but its main ability is you can target one DD card that you can in your Pendulum Zone. Destroy it and you get special a triple D um, monster from your deck. So basically, just this one card, you can destroy whatever in your pendulum zone. Great if you're going to destroy one of these two, or for us, or um, cut, um, or um, cut, um, or cut I, I still can't pronounce his name. Um, then you can just go into Ragnarok and go into a rank eight. So Kali Yuga, go into Hope Harbinger. That's what Savant Thomas is pretty much all um, all all about. And then also it's pendulum abilities, you can add a face up pendulum monster in your extra deck to your hand. So that's kind of great to search about that Kepler. And then one Chaos King Apocalypse. Um, you're really going to play this guy with Gilgamesh's ability. Um, you're not really going to play his monster effect all too well, but it's pendulum ability is you can just banish two DD monsters in your, gr in your grave, special summon this card from the pendulum zone, so it's free summon. It's vital guys in the main combo to bring out like you're just your OPP board because you banish the ghost and another one of your monsters like the high flame um, Gingus. Then you can play Ghost's ability to trigger it to return one of your cards back to the grave, and then you get a free monster. Then you just pen link summon, uh, synchro summon him away with Lamia to bring out K um, 
bring out Siegfried, and then you can get back your Gilgamesh that you banished. And then two copies of a, of um, Ragnarok. If you normal special summon this bad boy, you can target a, D, um, a DD monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Also, um, you can tribute an, an one other um, DD monster and target one card your opponent controls and banish that card, so it's great for removal as well. Also gets around your dead cards you have on the field. And if this guy's in your pendulum zone, guys, if, a, if you special summon a DD monster, it could be anyone, you can you can target another DD monster in your grave and special summon um, and special special summon it to the field. However, all damage your opponent can, takes after that is half. So please bear that in mind, my But when you're setting up your board, you don't particularly care about that. And that's it for the monsters, guys. Going into the spells, you're running two Allura Darkness. Just allows you to just draw um, draw two cards, banish one, but you have to banish one monster. So say for instance you got two Kepler and um, Allura Darkness. Boom, you can just banish one. Um, one of them you can still sit, still keep the other Kepler and search. Um, it's great target for Magician Souls because Magician Souls is a dark attribute itself. They say you got the Apprentice, banish it, still play this card. It's just absolute great. You got Thomas, banish it, you don't care. It's just great to search out your deck, guys. Two Core by the Grave. The last thing you want to do, especially during your turn, is to get um, Ash Blossomed when you start your combo. Core by the Grave just stops Ash, um, stops all hand traps, which is Ash from going off. Because you just banish, because for instance, for, for every single hand trap, near enough they have to um, the discard them. You just chain it with Core by the Grave. It banishes that monster, and then the effects can't activate, so the hand trap is negated. You don't really want to be hand trapped. And also, it's great if your opponent tries to resurrect any monster from the graveyard as well, because you just banish it that way, they can't resurrect. And then three, um, Hell's Gate. This is one of the cards you want to see turn one, because that say allows you to just search cards out straight, um, straight away. Um, so you do as many cards you can have that allows you to go into your, that allows you to get the three, like the three main combos. Uh, um, combo starters and this is just one of them that, that lets you search and then dark, one copy of dark contract with the swamp king this is just pretty much a free fusion guys you can fuse some monsters from your uh, from your hand or field or you can use monsters from your graveyard and summon out that way which is just great as you just fusion summon uh, monsters uh, uh, get, get into your fusions can be a combo extender as well one copy of one front you're just going to send one monster from your hand to the grave Anyone you don't particularly mind, or you set, set up, especially your um, field, um, especially set up your graveyard, and you can special summon level one monster from your hand or deck. So you can special summon the Kepler if you want to search out uh, Dark Contracts. Kepler's effect activates if it's normal special summon. Special summon the Lamia. Special summon the Magician Souls if you want to search. We know you won't particularly want to. We really want to go into like Lamia and stuff. So you see what I mean? One for one, fantastic card. Upstart, because Allura Darkness is limited to two, you can't have three. I was de um, I was down one card. I decided to play Upstart, allows me to draw an extra card so you can still at least search. And then two copies of Wit Off Thou. Wit Off Thou, guys, absolutely powerful. If you control a level one monster, you get to add another um, level one from your deck to your hand. So because Lamia and Necro Slime are both level ones, this card searches out both of them. We can even search out Kepler. So um, this, this is why this kind of works with um, Magician Souls. You can special summon Magician Souls to get, get a free level 1 monster. You can play Wear Out Thou, search out one of your cards. It's as simple as that, guys. And also, like I say, if you have Kepler and Wear Out Thou in hand, you can literally play Kepler's effect, search out the Hell's Gate, search out one of your cards you're missing, play Wear Out Thou because you have a level 1, search out another card you're missing. You see what I mean? Wear Out Thou is very powerful. And then going on to the traps, running free, evenly matched. Great, especially if, like, say, for instance, when you're going into your main combo, if you see your opponent's going first and they've got a big board, like they've just set up a board, you can just, and evenly matched in hand, you just skip straight to your battle phase, end your battle phase, play evenly match, force them to you know, banish the entire board, then because you still got you still got your time and you're in main phase two, you can just do, you do your board. Yes, you can't attack, but you've just set up your board, then that way you can just negate your opponent's whatever, um, like cards, then you just obliterate him to, um, to, um, on the on the next turn also because it's a trap it's great for um, magician souls if you do get your combos off and you can and it's like a dead card so obviously it'd be a dead card in hand and you've got your board set up just play magician souls and just send it to the grave and just search uh, more cards and that's it for the deck guys going to the extra deck we are running three fusions that is the flame high king genghis and two regular genghis so high flame is needed guys for your main combo it just um, um if this um with this if you 
um, summon a DD monster or normal or special summon while this card is on the field. You get to target another DD monster in your grave, special summon it. And 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 also he can negate um, a spell or trap. Um, on the um, also when the spell traps activated, you can negate it. It only works during your f during your turn though. I found out really, so don't really bank on him. But it's like he's really great if you're going if you're attacking with him and your opponent tries to activate a trap, you can just negate that trap. And then two copies of regular Genghis. This is the one enough you know straight away. One of the best combos um, um, extenders here. Um, you just you just abuse him so much in the combo. It's absolutely untrue. You go through both of them just like that. Um, because he's level 6, he's great to go with Formula Synchron to go into our Synchro um, level 8 plays. And also, he's just great in general. Like, if this, um, if you norm, uh, if you special summon another DD monster, you can special summon another DD from your graveyard. So, High Flame is kind of bad because he allows you to, if it's normal or special summoned, normal Gengars is just special summoned. But pretty much, they just resurrect cards from your grave and just go from there. Synchros, we are running the Borrowload Savage Dragon. Absolute easy to get out of this guys. We're running three links, but you go for him so quick like you turn one If you get your board set up if you have those three cards You're gonna go through all three of your links that way you just send um, Needle fiber to grave you go into formula synchron you just fusion it So you synchro it with with normal Genghis and then you just go into borrow savage dragon You just equip it with Gilgamesh you can negate two cards So if this card's um, synchro summoned you can target one link monster in your graveyard Equip to borrow load borrow load and um, gains a counter for, for each of its link ratings And also it gains half its attack which is nice So if you equip it with Gilgamesh it'll be up to 3,900 attack And also if your opponent activates a card or a card or effect You can remove one counter and negate the activation which is kind of great as well just gives you another negate Crystal Ring Synchro Dragon, you're gonna, um, bef again, you bring out this card in your main combo. You use it pretty much with Alexander and Lamia because it has to be with a non two, it has to be with a Synchro monster you play this, so you're gonna use it with Alexander plus Lamia. Um, when whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, guys, Crystal Ring negates it. And should Crystal Ring attack a monster with, um, that's a level five or higher, he, get, um, he gains attack equal to the monster he's attacking. So Crystal Ring, absolute fantastic. Um, Curse King Siegfried. Um, during other plays turn when your opponent activates a spell or trap, Siegfried can negate it onto the next turn's end for um, to the next standby phase, which is great. It just shuts down a lot of decks, especially when they try and activate spells. Um, if this card is destroyed by a battle or sent to the grave, you do gain a thousand life points for each dark contract you control as well. Uh, then one copy of of Alexander. You don't need High King Alexander. Just normal is fan is even, is just great. If you de if you Normal or special summon a DD monster while this card is on the field. You can target a level 4 or lower DD monster in your grave, special summon it. So again, you're just going to abuse the Lamia, keep bringing her back. Um, back. And of course, when you bring her back, you go into Crystal Ring. Formula Synchron, guys, you special summon this bad boy with Crystal on Needle Fiber. And of course, when you bring him back with Needle Fiber, you get to draw one card as well, which is just, which is absolutely great. Um... And then also it has, does have an effect where during your opponent's turn you can tribute so so you can so so um, during during your opponent's turn you can immediately synchro summon using cards you control. So for instance, if you have normal Genghis on field, you are able to go into Savage um, or Siegfried. Or for instance, if you do have a level eight monster such as say for instance you've already used Crystal Ring Synchro Dragon's effect, you've got High King Genghis, you've got Siegfried. You can use, you can do that to go into the next Synchro, which is Satellite Warrior. So if this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of Synchros in your graveyard, destroy them, and if you do, this card gains a thousand attack for each. And if this Synchro um, Summon card is destroyed, you can special summon up to two level three or eight lower Warrior Synchro or Stardust Monsters from your. Uh, from your graveyard, so you're not really going to play its other effect, but pretty much you go into this. Um, you can go into this with, like, say, for instance, you've got Crystal Ring Siegfried in your, like, on your field. You can play one, and, and you've used one of their effects. Doesn't matter which one you've used, you've used one of them. You, that means you can't use the other one the next turn. You just use satellite. You you just go. You use that one with uh, Formula Synchron. Go in a satellite. Boom. Pop three card your opponent. You could pop two to three card your opponent controls. Just absolute broken. And then of course this card gains more attack points on top of that. 
And then one copy of Shooting Riser Dragon. This is pretty much the other version of um, um, Former Synchron. So again, you special summon this bad boy with Needle Fiber. And he's just a level 7, guys, um, Synchro. So you're able to use this. as It kind of has the same effect as Former Synchron. But during your opponent's turn, you can... Um, go into a quick play synchro and you basically use it with our magician souls or with Kepler and you can still go into like I say your big plays such as um, um, Siegfried or go into Barlow Savage for the same reason you're going to do it. And then going on to the Xyzers we are running one Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga guys is just absolutely fantastic, absolutely broken. So um, after this card is Xyz summoned, for the rest of the turn other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field, which is absolutely broken, so you can just shut down your, a lot of effects your opponent has onto the turn's end phase. Um, oh uh, yeah, onto the turn's end phase. And then also once per turn during our play's turn, Kali Yuga can use one overlay unit to destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls, or on the field, sorry, so it's kind of like you use one overlay unit, you play a heavy storm, and also you can attach one Xyz material from this card to target one dark contract in your graveyard and set that card. So that's also a great effect as well. Kali Yuga, absolutely fantastic. And then obviously we're running the one copy of Hope Harbinger. So Hope Harbinger, guys, you use two level eight. When a spell card is activated on the field, you can shoot it down. It's just another negate, guys, if you um, go in to him. Like with, say, for instance, you've got um, this card with Siegfried and you've got um, Genghis. You can go into Hope, Hope Harbinger. No, I want to if I'm being brutally honest, but it's just another card to go into for another um, negate. Then going on to the links, we are running the Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep is mandatory for the, for the um, combo, guys, because he just pretty much makes life um, like life just make makes life easier so um if you special summon a monster this card points to you get to activate one of the following effects based on which card this card points to if it points to, so we're not going to go through the ritual so if it points to a fusion you can target a level um four or lower monster in your grave set bray he just brings back the lamia if you if he's pointing to a synchro or your monsters gain 700 attack, which is great for going into big, um, great for going for the OTK plays. If he's pointing to an Xyz, all monsters your opponent controls will lose 700 um, attack points. You're gonna use one effect per turn, but um, say for instance, your um, he's pointing to one um, Genghis, normal Genghis, um, and you bring out Formless Synchro with Nibelon, with need, with Needle Fire's ability and play. Form the synchron next to chain, um, next to cross sheep. You can still play the fusion ability because you have a fusion monster uh, targeted to this card, like l like pointing to this card. So you see what I mean? You can still do that play. Doesn't matter what card you summon next to its li um, its link, as long as you have one of them. And then we're going on to needle fiber again, mandatory in the um, mandatory guys in the combo because you just go into this bad boy. You're able to bring out ghost. Ghost will um, then obviously you go use Ghost to go into your Gilgamesh, and then you can just go go from there. You can banish Ghost, obviously bring out Chaos King Apocalypse, and you can just go on from from there. And also Needle Fiber does have an ability, to, guys, during your opponent's turn, where um, you can banish this card to target one Tuna Synchro from your extra deck special summon it. So this one guy will bring out, like say, the Formless Synchro and the Riser Dragon, depending on what's on your field. And then one Chaos King Gilgamesh. So if this card is special summoned, you can activate one of the following abilities. You can set two Pendulum um, D, um, DD monsters um, from your deck and um, deck to Pendulum Zones. And if you do, you take a thousand life points. You can't special summon for the rest of this turn except DD monsters. So in the main combo, you will be bringing out Needle Fiber and Crystal Wing before you bring out Gilgamesh because then you won't be locked into just DD cards and also if this link summon card is destroyed by opponents uh, is destroyed by opponent by battle or by card effects um, you can special summon a DD monster from your extra deck or graveyard so this one guy can pretty much bypass all the restrictions to bring out Kali Yuga he can bring out Siegfried he can bring out High King Genghis if he's just destroyed destroyed by your opponent so absolute great and yeah, that's it for the deck, guys. So, I may have gone through a bit quick, but this deck is just so... Like, by any means, um, DDs is one of those decks, guys, where if you if you play right and you... Like, it's one of them you have to keep playing. 
the more you play, the more you understand the combos. Like, like if you mess up a combo by mistake, you send the wrong card, you synchro some at the wrong time, you banish at the wrong time, your board is going to be crap. If you do it correctly, you're going to have God board. It's pretty much like that, guys. So, um, you just, um, I recommend for any person who's playing DEDs, get a build that you're comfortable with and just keep playing till you understand the combos and then you just go from there, just have fun and um, that's pretty much it. In the replays, you will see, see me on the first replay, I do mess up the combo, like I did the combo perfectly until I brought out Crystal Wing, what I should have done was brought out, I believe I should have I believe I should have um, gone into a different play. I think I should have done Gilgamesh first and then gone into Crystal Wing. I don't know. I messed it up there around, um, around there. So obviously my board wasn't as strong as what it can be. And then in part two, and then in the second replay, guys, I didn't have God Hand. I didn't have the free combos because I didn't have Necro Slime. So I did what best I could and I did get a decent board at the set. In turn we was against Sky Strikers. We did get a good, good board and we forced them both to leave. So yeah, guys. Um, by any means, I am not as good as I should be with DDs. It's one of them decks where I need to keep playing to learn them, and I just can't learn them all too well. But if you like this deck, guys, hit that thumbs up. And like I say, shout out to um, ten, um, to, um, Tenma for his suggestion for um, his video where I saw Magician Souls and I kind of liked that one. So his description is in the down below and or give him a or give him give him a subscribe guys. He deserves it for everything um, that he does. And um, yeah guys if you um, stay tuned for the deck deck replays wherever you are in the world please remember stay healthy, stay safe. Goodbye. Take care.